from Halloween Eve. Welcome to Smoky Goodness 2.0 tonight featuring something I've done recently, maybe seven or eight months ago, but with a twist. What I'm referring to is the uh, venison front quarter that I did on the pit barrel cooker. I think it was early in the spring or late in the winter time. Anyway, we're going to do something similar to that tonight, but with a twist, this is a venison hind quarter. This thing is enormous. This could be a ham. <laughs> Um, it's got to be at least four, maybe five pounds. Day one in the Wayback Machine was all about the thaw. It took a long time to thaw out. Day number two, the brining process. We'll show you that in just a second. Day number three, uh, well, today is day number three. We've just come out of the Wayback Machine. We're ready to get this bad rabbit on the grill, so follow us into the Wayback Machine. Stay around. Here's the star of our show. This is a four, maybe a five pound venison hind quarter that uh, I told you about just a little while ago. Now it was field dressed perfectly and it's been on ice for about three weeks or so. Here I'm just removing some of the silver skin and some of the fat. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of either. There is some thick silver skin but as you can tell this stuff is paper thin. This shouldn't take too long. And I want to get rid of some of this fat, not all of it. I want to leave a little bit in there. We're going to brine it. I'm going to go a little bit lighter on the brine. This is just a salt. It's a combination salt, a bit of pickling spices, things like that. Probably a gallon of water in here, maybe a gallon and a half, and I'll use about, a, I don't know, three quarters of a cup of this salt. As you can tell, I've already got a little bit of smoke rolling. I've got some alderwood in there, just not a whole lot, some alderwood chips. And here I'm adding one tiny little chunk of cherry. You don't want a whole lot of smoke for venison, and uh, you don't want 
a stronger smoke like hickory or oak or anything like that. Hence, the alder wood, which I'm really becoming a fan of lately, and the cherry wood. I think that'll uh, complement this venison perfectly. All right. The usual grill dome adornments are going in, including a drip pan. There's a lot of juice in this venison. All right. The star of our show, Bambi. Oh yeah. And we want to get the lid down quickly. Uh, you may have noticed I had the temperature down around 220, maybe 225 degrees on this. This could take three hours. This could take seven hours. I'm keeping the temperature down like I mentioned and we're shooting for an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit and the thickest part of the meat near the bone but not on it. You gotta have a good thermometer for this. Um, so that's about it. Uh, we're gonna give it a little light smoke like I mentioned and uh, just let it roll. It's done when it's done. So uh, we'll see you when it's done. <laughs> That's right, eight hours, mission elapsed time. It's six o'clock in the morning, man. <laughs> anyway, I just checked the temperature. We're right around 150. We're in the low 150s throughout the entire roast. I figured this would probably be a really good time to uh, add another layer of flavor. We're gonna do that with this stuff. Probably remember this. Drop Dead Delicious Amaretto Cherry. We're gonna use it as a glaze on this for the last eight or 10 degrees. Oh man, that's gonna be good. By the way, that's not smoke you see coming out of the uh, grill dome. It's steam. <laughs> very, very moist still. The outside is looking a little dry, so this'll, this'll do the trick. So let's do it. Voila. <laughs> it smells really good. Amaretto cherry. Are you kidding me? This might be the finest venison roast anybody has ever cooked in the history of forever. And this is going to take this roast right over the top, as I mentioned. Oh, yeah. Give it some good color, too. As the cold winds begin to blow, there we go, we're in the home stretch. As the traffic begins to pick up out here on the street, probably here, uh, guys are still riding their bikes. It's almost November, I love it. Okay, it's been nine hours <laughs> so far. Wow, wow, there it is, 160. Over here, 161. Cool. All right. Here we go. We'll bring this bad rabbit inside, wrap him, let him rest for 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll be eating. At least I will. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning, man. the amaretto cherry all over on the outside. I can taste the Arthur Bryant's. No wonder they're the uh, number one barbecue joint. Anyway. Um, the 
Brian made this real super tender. There isn't a hint of gaminess or uh, saltiness from the brine at all. This tastes like, uh, this tastes like prime rib. No? This tastes better than prime rib. Mm -hmm. Give this one a try.